Hello everybody, Kieran here, back for another video. Today we are going to be discussing my MLB baseball collection. Every baseball you see here has been used in the major leagues by the Seattle Mariners, except for these two right here. Other ones, they've all been used by the Mariners. Um, there's some specialer than others. There's some that have more importance to me than others. Some of them have autographs, some of them don't. Some of them have come in the mail, some of them have not. Um, as far as I'm concerned, none of them have been game used, uh, but they have been used practice, warm-ups. Um, some of them have some scuff marks from the dirt at T-Mobile Park from them, so let's get into it. Uh, as you can see here, I double stacked one of them. That's because they both have come from the same guy. Um, yeah, I guess I should do that with this one then too. So let's jump into this one right here. This one is a Fleming Baez ball that I got. Um, he's the bullpen catcher for the Mariners. He tossed the ball up to me from the bullpen on um, September 14th, 2019. It was the White Sox and the Mariners, Omar Narvaez, and Alex Colomay faced off in the 10th inning. Um, they were traded to the teams. They were actually a in the same trade, the Mariners traded Alex Colomay to the White Sox in exchange for Omar Narvaez. So they were facing off. Omar Narvaez hit a ball that almost hit the roof because it was shut, it was raining. Um, it hit the white line at the top of the wall. It wasn't a home run, but they didn't even review it. They called it a home run. So it was a walk-off in the 10th. Um, Felix Hernandez, uh, it was my very first Felix game. It was his very last um, it was his very last good start with the Mariners ever. So he allowed only one run over seven innings, struck out only three, but he entered the sixth inning only throwing like seven balls the entire game. The rest were strikes. Um, I don't even I don't even think it was an earned run either because D. Gordon committed an error uh, that allowed the one run to score because otherwise it would have been an inning-ending double play and he probably would have came out for the eighth. If not, because then he gave up a run. So that's the one I got it from. Um, in the bottom of the eighth inning, or in the middle of the eighth inning, I got this baseball from Manny Acta, the bench coach of the Mariners. It has um, some scuff marks on it. I will show these to you later, the close ups of them, but I got the. Well, anyway, I got that ball from a Manny Acta, the bench coach, in the middle of the eighth inning. Um, I went up to the bottom of the dugout. Uh, I said, Manny, can I have a ball? He looked at me, gave me a ball, and just went, boop, right there over the net, like so. Um, same thing with this one, also in the, <clears throat> in the middle of the eighth inning, except that one was on July 27th, 2019. This one was September 14th. Um, on September 14th, I got five baseballs on the 27th of July I got two baseballs so for this um, I was in the going down by the dugout because it was all empty seats pretty much it was a tank series between the White Sox and the Mariners so I went down there and I got it um, asked him again it was about two months in between my first sighting with him, so he probably doesn't remember me, so it's okay. He gave me another ball, and this is it right here. As you can see, it uh, has a big dirt spot on it. So, it's been used. Uh, for this one, a friend bought me this for my birthday. It's not game used, but it is an MLB ball. Um, and it's signed by Jay Buner. He was an outfielder for the Mariners. Did really good. Was with the team um, from the nine in the nineties. So pretty good to get him the the bone at uh, Northwest Motorsports. I think it's what it's called. Um, this baseball I got from Mariners relief pitcher Dan Altavilla. Um, I got this at. The end of the game on September 14th, he was coming in from the bullpen. We were all standing there at the dugout, the fans who were there, not very many. 
Uh, we were yelling, and he flipped it to me out of my pocket because I was calling everybody's name. I know all the players from their face. Other guys did not, and I was calling out everybody. He saw me, gave me the ball. Um, this one has a bunch of pitching grip on it, which is illegal. <laughs> so I'm, I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm gonna case it up when I to get a case, but this uh, Dan Atavilla probably would have been ejected from the game if he was using this because it has a bunch of sticky on it, and you can tell it's a bullpen ball because it's not hit by a. It doesn't have any scuff marks from it hitting the ground, so. I mean, it's dirty, but it doesn't have any scuff marks for being hit or anything. So, we have that one. Um, this one I got in the mail from the Commissioner of Major League Baseball. I did a separate video of that, and uh, I'll put that one up right here or there. I'll put the card up right there um, to that video of how I got this. But right here has a signature right there. Got it in the mail. It's an MLB ball. Not game ready. It's not juiced or mud rubbed. Um, so, that one's that. Um, that ball still sitting down there. Need to get that one. Uh, but these are the best ones right here. So most of you who know Mariners, know baseball, know who King Felix is. Felix Hernandez was the ace pitcher for the Mariners. Threw a perfect game, 2012. Has like 2,500 strikeouts, like 269 wins. So he's pretty good. He had his own cheering section at Safeco Field slash T-Mobile Park. Uh, called King's Court. Every time he two strikes in the count, he's they got everybody with the K card chanting K K K K because K resembles strikeout. Um, so this one I got. Let's go in order. Actually, this is dating back to 2017. This is the best baseball out of my entire collection. This was at the end of a game that the Mariners nearly no hit the Oakland Athletics. It was on September 3rd, 2017. The Oakland A's first hit was in like the fifth inning. And I think they only had like four weak base hits the rest of the game. So they had five. I didn't realize they had five. But you know, it was pretty special because it was almost a no-hitter. I mean, it turned out not to be, but it's what it seemed like. Anyways, at the end of this game, Scott Service, the manager for the Mariners, uh, I was yelling for him. This is back before they had the netting up by the dugout. I uh, asked if he could have, have his autograph, and he said yes, and then flipped me a blank ball. It's okay. It's blank. No autograph on it. Um, it's mud rubbed. It appears it was game ready. has a great smell to it. That's kind of weird of me to say, but it's true. Um, they were using commemorative baseballs that season. Um, so they have the 40th anniversary logo right there. Instead of just the normal MLB logo. And um, I got to run around the bases because it was a Sunday afternoon. Um, so then we went out the home plate exit. And Felix Hernandez was just so happening to be standing right there out on the streets waiting for his Uber. And I got to meet him. Um, I'll make a separate video about that. I'll leave the links down to the picture on Instagram in the description. Um... So, yeah, we got his autograph right there. I also have an autographed hat up in my room. I'll do a separate video on hats as well. Um, so, yeah, this is a very nice ball. It's probably really worth a lot, too. So, and I got this back in 2017. Now, we're jumping ahead nearly two years to uh, July 27, 2019. It was the Detroit Tigers and the Mariners. Marco Gonzalez started that game. Um, on this day, Felix was actually placed on the 60-day disabled list, but he ended up getting transferred to the 10-day disabled list and taken off, and so I got to see him pitch and everything before the end of the year. So Felix Hernandez, toss-up. Um, he was reaching in the bag of um, baseballs, you know, they're game ready, that go into the game. So that is uh, handled by the ball boy. So he was reaching in there. Throwing some baseballs to fans. For some reason, my natural instinct was to not ask him for one uh, or yell for him. So he went back down, and my dad was like, See if you can't get Felix to throw a ball to you. I was like, Okay, I'll try. Mid eighth inning, I get a ball from Manny Acta, which is now down there on the floor. Uh, he comes up, we start throwing a ball. He has two balls in his hands, or three, I can't remember. 
He threw one, and I thought he, I thought this was the only one that he had. He threw one, two, and a woman, an adult, right next to me. Very devastating. This is an emotional roller coaster, right? For the next five seconds. As soon as I saw him throw it to the adult next to me, I was like, Felix! Oh. Then he had another ball in his hand, and I was like, Felix! And then I got the ball thrown to another adult, but I reached out and took it. I, th I think he was throwing it to me, but, you know, Felix is getting a little bit older and not very accurate. So, <laughs> anyways, I'm just going to assume he threw it to me. He threw it in my area, but I kind of reached out in front of somebody else. But I got it. And then I went and hugged my dad. Pretty dramatic, but it was, it was, this is the scenario. Felix! Oh! Felix! It was a bit crazy. But yeah, the Mariners won 8-1, and in 2019, they won both games I went to. Um, 2019 against Detroit, they hit a home run. No, there's always a home run by either team in like the first 106 games or 107 or whatever. In the first 100-something games, uh, there's always been a home run in a Mariners game. doesn't have to be by the Mariners, but as long as there's a home run by either team in the game, that's the streak that ended the game I went to, nobody hit a home run. So that was a pretty historic game, actually. Um, because it was MLB record that ended, so it was pretty cool to be there. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't a record I wished to see, but, you know, what can you do? Anyways, I got this at him, and that was pretty special, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, these are all the baseballs I got. I also got two from the right and the one down there. I got two from the Rainiers game, both game used. One was a third out ball tossed up by catcher Tuffy Gosowich, who I think is with the Nationals organization now. I can't remember. He's not with the Mariners anymore. He had like one major league appearance in 2017. Other than that, he really never made it to the big leagues. And the other one was by the first base coach. It, uh, it was a foul ball to the first base coach on the ground, took it up, flipped it to my dad. My dad gave it to me. He was supposed to go to me, but overthrew it. And uh, that was the first base coach for the Albuquerque Isotopes. Um, I think I have still one of those baseballs, but I really don't know where they're at. My dad might have them. So, I mean, eh, it's, it is what it is. I'm not too worried about it. Um, they're Rainier's balls. I'll get more, even though it's a bit harder to do that because... They put the netting up and the security's getting tougher in Tacoma. So, yeah, that's my baseball collection. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm going to be catching a lot more. Hopefully the baseball season isn't canceled and I'll be going to more games. So, thank you everybody for showing up and watching the video. And I will see you guys later. Peace.